Anything on radar? No, it's clear, not a cloud. Oh, my lord, look at engine four. It's lit up somehow. Captain, Captain, have a look at number one. It's the same on my side. None of the crew have ever seen anything like this before. But the light show is just the beginning. Their bizarre flight is about to take a terrifying turn for the worse. Mayday, 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 Speedbird 9. We've lost all four engines. With no engine power and no idea what has crippled their plane, British Airways Flight 9 begins falling from the sky. As the plane closes in on the airport, First Officer Greaves thinks the windshield is covered in moisture, making it hard to see through. And I said, I said to Eric, I said, yeah, it's a bit misty out there. So we turn, turn the blowers on to kind of, you know, like demisters on your car to try and, and uh, clear that. That didn't work. I used the windscreen wipers and that didn't work. Somehow, the glass itself has been badly damaged. The localizer, which gives you the left and right of the runway center line, that was working. But the glide slope, which gives you the actual profile for the descent, was not working. After all the troubles they've been through, now the crew has to land their plane nearly blind. Oh my God. Oh my God. What were the strange lights that surrounded the plane? The damage to the 747 is extensive. The windshield is heavily scratched. The wings and nose of the plane seem to be sanded down. The paint has been stripped off. Bare metal shows through. But the crew still has no idea what has caused such extensive damage or why the plane's engines had all stopped working. And if you're at night, you might look out and see the frictional electrification or the St. Elmo's fire on the leading edges of the aircraft. Another important lesson learned from Flight 9.